Hi darlings, this is Christina at Makeup Box FYI. I hope you're having a great day. I have a fall tree. We are gonna talk about my favorite luxury fall lipsticks. I have a lot, so I'm gonna to have to break them down into colors, but I hope that you guys like this. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so today I did a very this is not easy look it's a little bit glam but this is from the mediterranean palette i felt like i just wanted to get into those mm, yummy fall vibe colors so i thought it would go really good with the lipsticks it may be a lot for some of them but i digress we're going to go from like standard lipsticks to mattes because that's going to be a lot harder to remove so we're going to start with browns first the first brown i want to show you is from last year this is from the Rouge Allure Velvet line. This is Terres d'Etoile, and it had, it was part of the, I wonder, if, was it the Lions Collection? It wasn't the Lions Collection, but it was from last year. And it's that, you know, pop option. It's definitely giving more that warm brownish tone um, but it's got a little bit of pink to it it's absolutely gorgeous i would have got a second one except i have one that's very similar from another collection i'm going to show you right now Shit, i believe the year prior maybe 2020 this is, is this a line collection there's so many collections i, I really got to get better at this but i think this was the camellia collection so this was beige argent if it's still available, you know, I'm going to link all this stuff for you guys, but so pretty. And let me show you how close of a color this is to the Terras de Toulouse. And you can see they're almost identical. I almost don't know the difference. And they're, P.S., they're both on the Rouge Allure Velvet line. So they're like the same line, almost the same color. So sometimes be careful with the collections because you may already have something similar. It's good to see these reviews because, you know, they may come out with another one that's very close and I don't need two of these. I need to get through these this fall and winter. Okay, now here's one of my personal favorites. I do have a backup of. This one is from the Rouge Allure line. It's Or Beige. This is the prettiest neutral color with a little shimmer shine. Oh, I die. And I find that you can wear this year round, but I tend to reach for it in the fall months, but I don't know if you can tell, but it has the prettiest little glitter sparkles, which makes it just so luminous and you don't feel it. It's creamy, it's soft. I have an extra because I do love it that much. To the next one. Okay, so this color is one that is recent, Alter Ego from the new lipsticks chanel came out with in 2021 so pretty oh i told you already in my review that how much i adored this color and this too is from the rouge allure line so it's gonna be nice and creamy not matted it can transfer but so so pretty okay now for my matted lips so this is dior and this is one of their new formulas the rouge dior this is in 100 and i believe it's nude I'll have it listed below. I forgot the color, but it's it's number 100, so pretty. What I really like to do is layer this over top of a liner, but I'm gonna show you just as is, cause it is the perfect top if you like the liner you have and you don't wanna disrupt the color too much. It is the perfect kind of nudie look, almost like your lips but better it does dry down and it lasts for a really long time it is transfer resistant so i do love this one and i plan on using it a lot with some of my liner second to last this is always a hit it's always in rotation it is more than a fall it is a, it is a year-round option this is chanel's um intense caramel in the late to new collection love 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 this color it is just the perfect nude it is transfer resistant it has a little gloss which i'm not going to do today because we don't want it staying it does stay for hours and hours so i'm going to show you the color it is always in rotation 
but it is such a lovely color I had to put it in there because it really is fabulous. And last but not least for the browns is going to be Rouge, the Rouge Dior Forever 200. Love this color. It's so yummy and buttery and transfer resistant. I love it so much. I do want another color. I think I want Forever Paris. So when I have to replenish some things, I'm gonna go on the Dior website specifically. Yes, you can save money if you wait to the Sephora sale, so absolutely. But I'm really close to getting a free gift from Dior, so I'm gonna look into that. Look how pretty this color is. Oh, love it so much. This is another really pretty nude color. And it smells a little bit like candy, this one. Um, that's the only thing I noticed. But I love all these lipsticks because you really don't need liners unless you just want to stabilize, you know, the top portion here. And I have a few that I'll show you that I typically rotate through depending on the color. But this is the last brown. It's gorgeous. And let's get to the next pinks. Now, in between the cleans, I'm using my Intense. I know it is a eye remover, but eye makeup remover, but I use it for lips too. It helps get it off really fast. And then I'm just doing this thing here to try to get the colors back to normal around my lips. Of course, we have to talk about um, Demi Mou. Mou. It is so pretty. This is the new Chanel Fall Collection 196. I have been wearing this so much, getting a lot of use out of it. Probably going to have to get a second one. That's how much I love it. It is so perfect. I've never had such a perfect pink nude, nudie pink. It is the perfect tone. I don't need to add anything to it. A lot of times I'll just, you know, put my little lip liner to stabilize it, but I love this color. You can use it with so many eye looks because it's just so subtle. Oh, I can't, I just love this color so much. This is also in the Rouge Allure line, so it is not transfer resistant, but it's beautiful. This is from a different collection, um, that Star collection. Once again, I'll have to look at it. But another pretty pinky color. This is called Boy Boy de Rose Astral. Oh, it's really pretty too. This is from the Rouge Allure Velvet, so this is going to be a little more of a matte kind of lipstick. Of this color it's such a pretty pinky ugh, color the only thing about these allures that they do transfer so for work since I'm in the healthcare and I still have to wear masks it is pretty tough um, to wear these because then I take the mask off when they're everywhere so sometimes I have to have like different alternatives to these colors and in this case I'm thinking the the Christian Dior forever Paris it's going to be very similar in a matted form and so I think I want to get it but I haven't got it yet but I'll do a comparison when I do. I have 192 Chanel Profonde, I'm um, sorry, Profondeur and this is always like part of their collection unless they decide to discontinue like you know they do. It is a beautiful color. It's like a pinky. So it's almost like a pinky brownie color when I look at it. No, I don't know. I don't know if I'd say brown, but it's like a pretty, it's a pretty pink, but it has some rich rustic tones to it. Almost like a, I don't want to say pink terracotta, but it's giving me some of those vibes. Okay, so now we have one of the richest prettiest deep pinks that I do own from Chanel and this is in the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme. So this one actually has a little more grip. It's a little thicker to put on than their Rouge Allure Velvet. This is supposed to be a lot more matted. It is so pretty, so rich and creamy. I can't wait to show you. Now, unless you have a steady hand, I would recommend a liner, but this particular formula does seem to get a, a little, it's very smooth, so it tends to run a little more than maybe you want it to, and there's no forgiveness because it is such a thick formula. So unless you have a steady hand, do a liner, even if you do just for the wearability of it, so you can wear it as often 
for a long time without it bleeding, you know, and running over your lip line. But I love this color. Definitely going to be rocking it this fall. Now, before we get to our reds, we are going to get into one berry that I do carry. And this is also from the um, Le Tenu collection. This is in the color Intense Rosewood. I need at least one kind of purplish deep color, like a berry. I love this. So I love this color. It is such a pretty, 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 you know, berry color and it does dry down. So I'm not gonna let it sit too long. Um, you put the gloss over top, transfer resistant. It is an awesome color, love it so much. Now we're down to the reds. I only have three. I don't rock red too much except for like on a few occasions. So I don't collect them as much, but I do have, I have one in like three different color options. Let's first do the transitional red because this one is not, is not a traditional red and I actually thought it was going to be more um, berry than red but the website kind of fooled me. So this is the Dior, the Rouge Dior 720 Velvet Icon. This was one of our newer releases. It was like a Mother's Day collection and it has all those beautiful flowers on it. Um, so it is very pretty and I probably almost should have put this in the pink option but like I said transitional color. But as you can see, this really does lean more reddish to me, which was deceiving because the images online looked like pink. And I did a comparison between this one and the Chanel Profondeur. Um, same similar kind of textures. They're like mattes, very creamy, very buttery. I love it. I haven't really used it because like I said, it's giving me red vibes. So plan on using it this year because it's a nice tone down red yeah I think that's what I'm gonna say okay this is the prettiest Gucci lipstick that I do own look at this oh I know I got this in 2020 I think this is part of their normal line maybe not because it is kind of um fancy but this is from the Rouge Allure in color 511 and this is called Madge Red this is so pretty let me show you let me show you the beauty of match red. Do you see that sparkle? I hope it's the light is catching it. I feel like it's not doing it justice. Do you see it? Oh, I can't. It is so freaking beautiful. And as beautiful as it is on the stick, it is on the lips. Now I'm going to tell you, Madge Red needs a liner because Madge Red gave me the hardest time making sure it curved exactly around the lips. The struggle is real, but the finish is gorgeous. So our last red is coming. Okay, and this is from the Chanel Ultra to New. I swear I had like at least six of these at one point because you know, me wearing masks all the time. This was just the perfect. And I'm the kind where when I go to work, I don't care what the reason, I don't care what pandemic I'm wearing makeup because it was the thing that just really gave me joy. So yeah, so I wore these a lot. I came to love them. So I still collect them. I still love them. So this color is the Passionate Red and I'm going to show you. Red. I think the reason why I don't wear red a lot is because I always do a lot with my eyes. So red is harder to fit into my routine. But now that I have some beautiful, you know, Chanel tweeds, very neutral, I think I can rock these reds a lot more. All right, darling. So that is my whole collection of fall. I want to say fall winter um, looks and lipsticks, fall lipsticks that are my favorites that I do plan to pull out. Put this in my rotation kit and start rocking them taking out my bright pinks and bright corals and it's time for fall so i hope that you guys enjoy this i hope this helped i'll link everything down below um if it's not available i'm just going to note that but hopefully most of them are all right darlings i hope you have a fantastic week and i'll catch you in the next one